Hi, this is Danielle Zana. I basically feel like doing a bit of a vlog. Um, because um, recently um, there's been going a, there's been a lot of information going on the internet um, in regards about you know Fukushima trying to cover up the actual evidence of it. Um, First off, by some people who throw in bogus uh, information and hype um, about Fukushima, and this becomes bait um, for um, certain people to try and you know, debunk it, and then when they do that, they exclude um, the other facts and evidence that are genuine. And um, for example. Is um, this website Skeptoid, you know, whatever? It basically tends to um, focus on, um, you know, people putting the uploading, you know, mutant squids and things like that. Um, and it's really kind of like dismissing the whole thing about it, um, the actual facts about it, um, that. Um, Damages what it's causing, and um, and um, really, I, I honestly don't know why this is happening, but it is happening. Um, so you get this website right, and you get this one from um, RT, where it says radiation can hit a record high. And this is just basically three days old, and. Um, And you know, you get two contra contradicting articles um, about it. And um, obviously, you know, people tend to, like, you know, Alex Jones and all that, he tends to overhype things. Um, and uh, Alex Jones became an un unreliable source of information. When you mention things about um, transsexual people and all that, I've actually unsubscribed him because he's nothing but a fascist bigot. But um, when it comes to the point where I do not support the bearing of information about the seriousness of Fukushima by debunking bullshit websites, to overall dismiss the whole thing. Um, the thing is, really, um, honestly, I, I just don't know what is wrong with this planet. The, you know, you had a situation where they basically um, did the same thing with fossil fuels, climate change. Um, Fossil fuels, climate change. Then it's fracking. They're doing the same thing as like you know, giving them the reason to fuck up the planet, rape the planet, exploit all the resources and things, um, just to make more money. You know, as long as money exists, the shit is gonna continue. It's going to continue until. Um, human extinction and, and extinction of almost all the life on the planet. And to be honest, there's only 27 years left. Um, some some people estimate 17, but um, I would say there's 27 years. And honestly, um, this is just basically to. Um, Information so that people distract people from the truth about it, and um, and often I throw in this um, straw man banana uh, theory about the, the radioactivity of bananas. And when I hear that one, I just you know, I, I just palm base and I just say, you oh, know, that's basically a straw man thing. That they throw in to um, to bury the seriousness. You know, it's supposed to be the radioactive waste from this disaster that's supposed to be burying, not 
and the information about it. You know, but they've done this with many things on this planet. Um, they're doing it with fracking, they're doing it with climate change. These, you know, they're debating the global warming versus global cooling thing. They don't see the full thing that it's it's causing extreme um, current uh, fluctuations within the atmosphere of the planet. Where some places are getting cooler, some places are getting hotter. For example, in the UK, this year we didn't have any had didn't have any snow yet. It's been snowing heavily in the US and Canada, and it even snowed in Egypt. Now, and it and it's been a warm winter here in the UK. So you've got patches that are warmer and then patches that are colder. Now, that's neither global warming or neither global cooling. But it is extreme weather conditions, and that is caused by fossil fuels. Um, honestly, if you know, they try and cover things up, and this is what uh, what what annoys the shit out of me. Um, it just like then they try and use these things to try and cover up and give them further excuse to exploit and rape the planet. And to exclu exploit people and lives for money, uh, because they only see they don't see people as human beings or, um, you know, um, prop, you know, people that exist that have consciousness, they have feelings, they have emotions, and all that. They just see them as human capital, or uh, which is another word for cash cow, and um, honestly. I don't fall for the shit, to be honest. I do not fall for the shit. And, um, um, you know, I just really don't. You know, I, I don't have time for people who basically debunk, try and debunk something and they debunk the thing entirely just because of a few bogus websites about it. And, um, honestly, Go, if you look around, RT has got some valid information. They're the most reliable mainstream news um, that exists on this planet. And um, they have a different picture and, and they're providing facts and all that. And um, honestly, I just, I just don't get it. Honestly, you know, people should be getting together, fixing the problem. Um, but as long as money exists, this, this bullshit is going to continue uh, until human beings become totally liberated from this planet. And um, that's all I've got to say.